Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you guys are interested in any private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's get into your reading, Aquarius. I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while now. So I'm going to be pulling out four cards for you and then four cards for your partner, the person you're dealing with or interested in. And then I will be pulling up oh, and then I will be pulling out uh, the central issue. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Okay, so you have one card popped out already, which is the five of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the four of cups, the page of swords. What's going on with you guys? Okay. So then your partner's cards is the lover's card, the devil card, the star card, the three of swords. Wow. All right. So there's major transformations and major changes going on, Aquarius, for you guys. It seems like there is a lesson that you guys continuously keep not learning or not wanting to learn. Let me pull out the central issue. Spirit, give me the central issue card. Give me the central issue card. Oh, okay. So I have two cards here. Central issue, nine of cups and six of pentacles okay timing so your general energy for the mid month of september the energy surrounding you at the present time is the six of cups six of cups is definitely talking about um you guys are dealing with a lot of nostalgia or dealing with past traumas things that happened in the past that it has become very difficult for you to move away from or pull away from okay for some of you guys, this could represent uh, if you have children from an ex-partner, it could represent the fact that you are still in a way hopeful that things can work out or that it's becoming an issue dealing with the partner uh, because all you really want to do at this present time is deal with them purely on a platonic sense, meaning just because of the children. Um, but because I feel the Six of Cups more as a challenge, so I feel that for some of you guys, it's becoming an issue either with your ex-partner or it's an issue of you letting go from the past. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Now let's get into the central issue. So the central issue at the present time is the nine of cups and the six of pentacles. So it has to do with timing. Nine of pentacles, obviously we are in September, so it could represent the September energy. And at the present time, uh, the give and take is unbalanced. Uh, so it could be you overdoing or it could be your partner overdoing. Uh, but someone is overindulging or uh, someone is giving too much effort into the relationship when the other one is very detached. This could be you, Aquarius. Um, the Six of Pentacles also talks about, again, like I said, timing. Uh, so there is an essence of time here. Um, seeing how your partner has a lot of major arcanas and you have uh, just minors and you have one... Uh, one royal card it's like you have issues on the daily uh on the daily life so what i mean by that is more of the mundane uh versus your partner's dealing with a lot of changes that have to do with destiny have to do with uh the universe has to do with life lessons that are happening at the present time now the nine of cups can also be a representation of the wish because it is the wish fulfillment card um so as a central issue, there is something that has to do with abundance or that there is an imbalance in the relationship. Again, like I said, one or the other is doing too much for the other and it's becoming a little bit stagnant. Um, you're, not being, you're not being balanced or you're not being fair. This could be you or it could be your partner. It is a general reading. So with that said, your cards, Aquarius, you have the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So this could be a representation of money struggles, issues that you have to deal with at the present. Again, it could be the everyday mundane type of things where you get unexpected expenses that you weren't expecting. Uh, the way money comes in, you feel like money's going out and that's kind of pulled you away from the relationship or not putting so much effort into that because you feel that you are not balanced at the present time. The five of pentacles and the four of pentacles can also represent you feeling like you've been left out in the cold, uh, like they've built a wall around you and they don't want to communicate or they don't want to connect with you on a deeper level. For a lot of Aquarius, um, 
this could be something daunting because it's usually you the one that does that. It's usually you the one that is a little bit detached, uh, the one that doesn't want to deal with any type of drama. So if you've been having to deal with drama in regards to your partners, like the family of your partner, uh, this could be you the one that's pulling away from this situation and protecting yourself or uh, letting your partner know whether it's a she or whether it's a he, letting them know, hey, you know what, I'm not going to be dealing with this type of energy anymore. I'm not going to be dealing with this type of drama. And you've pretty much put that wall up where you're protecting yourself. And that's the reason why there's no emotional connection at the present time from you to your partner, Aquarius. Now, you do have the Four of Cups here and the Page of Swords. So the Four of Cups definitely talks about a missed opportunity or not wanting to further this relationship, not wanting to uh, pursue this relationship no longer. And it has to do with the fact that there's a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of arguments, fights. Uh, the Page of Swords definitely talks about a very forceful type of energy. And I don't feel that this is you, Aquarius. Um, this is more the energy that your partner has been putting on you or, you know, putting too much weight on you uh, to solely. So here's the scenario that I'm seeing. OK, I see you sitting in the couch and them coming to you and telling you, hey, clean up, change real quick because uh, family's coming over or whatever. And it could be a person that you don't get along with, per se, in her family or in his family. Um but at this point, you're like, you know what? I don't give a shit. You know what? I don't care if they come. Let them come. Like, this is who I am. I shouldn't change the way I am, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like at this point, you're not wanting to take any more of what you've been dealing with for the past couple of months in regards to this relationship, Aquarius. Now, your partner's cards, this is very, um, okay. So how your partner is seeing you and how they see the relationship at the present time, it's the lover's card, the devil card. So the lover's card is being at crossroads. They know for a fact that they have to make a choice, either deal with you, um, deal with you in the sense of trying, continuously keep trying to help you open up. Or they're going to have to detach and pull away from you because this is a toxic relationship. It could be you or it could be your partner. Like I said, it's a general reading. But there's definitely toxic, uh, toxic, uh, there's definitely a toxic energy in this relationship. And the reason I say that is because the lover's card with the devil card, um, the devil card is all about obsessions. It's all about addictions. Next to the lover's card, there may be nothing other than a sexual connection with your partner or you have like you don't admire anything about them other than their physical or other than the sexual connection you guys have. And because the devil card is right next to the devil, this is a very possessive person or it's a person that is very strong headed that is going to ultimately want to alter who you are or change who you are. And because right after the devil card, the star card is here so it could represent one of two things okay it could be that they know they have to make a choice either continue being in this toxic relationship where there's only sexual type of chemistry nothing other than that it does not go any deeper than that um and pulling away from that which would mean pulling away from you or it could represent that a person from their past is coming back into their life. Very well could be a Capricorn. The devil card is a Capricorn. And then you are here. So it's like them having to make a choice. The lover's card is always about choices or being at crossroads. And they are at crossroads having to make a choice between you, the star card, Aquarius, or the devil, which is a Capricorn here. So there's definitely a third party type of energy here because the three of swords is in fact here. So perhaps you, uh, Aquarius, have been experiencing something is off, something's not right. And at this present time, you have either been left out in the cold or you put this person like completely ignored them. You're not wanting to deal with their bullshit anymore. The four of cups here is definitely talking about missing an opportunity, but this could be, this can also represent um, them missing out on the opportunity of being with you, 
having to do with sneaky behavior and having to do with impulsive impulsiveness more than anything. And their cards are very clear here, which is that of having to make a choice at the present time with the lover's card that has to do either with the devil card here, a toxic relationship or a person that they were uh, connected to in their past that was very strong on sexual type of energy, having to make a choice between the, this devil card and the star card, which is you Aquarius, and ultimately the three of swords. So if they were dealing with both you and a past lover, the three of swords has already happened. And what I mean by that is the three of swords, the cheating has already occurred. If this is something that you're currently dealing with, uh, there's going to be heartache at the end of it. But I feel that th it's not heartache from you. It's heartache from the person that you're dealing with or your partner. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Now, for those of you guys that um, are currently in a long-term committed relationship, um, again, the same message applies the only difference is, again, like I said, the five and the four of cups is definitely talking about, actually, the five of cups and four of, sorry, I keep saying cups. The five of uh, pentacles and the four of pentacles is definitely talking about being left out in the cold. This is how you're feeling, Aquarius. And that they're not wanting to take your opportunity, they're not wanting to take your love, or they're not trying to reciprocate. At this point, with the page of swords, you're done. You're not dealing with it. You're like... But there is things still that are hidden from you. Things that are still you're not being able to see. Because again, timing. The six of pentacles always talks about time. And there's an imbalance here. An imbalance if in, if in fact with the reciprocation of love. So it could be unrequited love for some of you guys. Um, it could be that the, your partner, your husband or your wife... Um, you've been the one that's been completely submerged in this relationship and at this point you feel like they haven't done enough so you're able to walk away or you're thinking about walking away from this relationship but you still can't put the finger on what happened or why the sudden change in your partner and again the message here is very evident what happened was that they have been brought back again timing Timing can represent um, uh, energies that are coming in, that the way they come in, they go out. So it could be the fact that they were at crossroads. You, either there was a lack of sexual type of connection between you and your partner, or again, like I said, that they were at crossroads where they felt like, you know what, I don't want to move forward with this Aquarius, but I'm still not sure. Um, and this is for those of you guys that are married, okay? Okay. Uh, being at crosswords wanting, wanting to decide if they want to pretty much end the relationship and walk away and it could have been that there was toxic type of energy so it could be possessiveness if you Aquarians are possessive or jealous it could be that uh, where they seem that this was a never ending type of energy and they're wanting to make a choice of pulling away from that um, the star card, obviously a representation of you, but then there's heartache at the end. So again, it could represent third party energies. It could have very well been you Aquarius that recently was found out uh, that you were cheating on your partner. Um, it, like I said, it is a general reading, so it could go vice versa, uh, but there's definitely a third party energy here. And it's like the, the star card finally is giving you clarity or the star card is finally Things that were hidden are finally starting to come out to light, um, which unfortunately is ending up in heartache and devastation or the ending of a relationship, okay? So I hope this resonates with you guys. Um, Aquarians readings usually are all over the place. <laughs> Probably has to do with your energies. Uh, you guys tend to be a little bit scattered. But anyways, I hope you guys could get through these difficult times if in fact you are going through this situation know your worth um don't ever allow anyone to step all over you or disrespect you and if it's you the one that did this or created this third t uh this third party type of energy understand and know that that which we put out always comes back to us and it comes back to us when we least expect it light and love to all of you guys uh comment like share my videos if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and we will see uh each other the beginning of october bye